Hello, my friends. John LaRuva here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to look at the expansion for Rurik Stone and Blade. So Rurik Stone and Blade. Let's see what's uh, inside this Kickstarter that just showed up. All right, folks. And as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can build up my fan base. So my Kickstarter copy came with apparently a reprint of the mini cards from the base game saying that it'll better uh, blend, match with the expansion. So there's that. Box art looks really nice, which is cool. Uh, unfortunately, you don't really see the game in play, and maybe you can't because it's an expansion, so you kind of see different modules. But as you all know, that's usually a beef of mine when you can't see what the heck things look like. But with the expansion, I'll give you a pass. Okay. I do like the fact that they have listed the components in the back. They give you information about what you're getting in there, so that's good. And as we open her on up, box inside is nothing special. We have a storage guide, which is always helpful, so that's cool. I do like it when they tell you what and how to put stuff back when you've got, uh, you know, different things with pre-defined uh, storage and such. So that's cool. Glad that they gave us that. We've got this rule book here. All right. So it looks very much like the rule book in the base game, as I would expect it to. And uh, hopefully that means we'll get some examples and such. We're getting a lot of explanation on the components, which is good. And then some base game frequently asked questions here. And on the back, more references. So that's, that's good. We got the solo mode. Love it that they uh, put this out here so that you can easily see what you're doing. Um, and it says it retains most of it. Here's some changes. Uh, so I like the fact that this is by itself. It'll make it easy to learn and reference so you know exactly what you're doing. And you can reread the solo rules to get yourself back up and playing. And there are plenty of them. Okay. So there we go. All right, well, they went with the uh, shrink wrap on the components, which can be okay unless the stuff warps a little bit like this. So I don't think it's going to be the end of the world, although these are somewhat thick. But let's just hope that that's not a problem. Now, these guys, I would say, though, are kind of minimal thickness from a cardboard standpoint. I usually prefer, you know, medium size, but this looks a little thin to my liking, as you can see here. I think that's just a smidge thin. So that's gonna make the warping possibly, well, we'll see, we'll see. Now, the artwork looks nice. It looks like it's gonna blend in with the uh, the base game there, so that's good. But again, just a smidge on the thin side there. Would have liked to see a little thicker. Inside the main event, we have this nice little tray holding these very nice looking wooden pieces there, which is cool. Don't need to get those out because you can obviously see what they are, but that is good that they're in there. And then you've got this, nothing below, but this in the main section. And we have our, uh, you know, plastic uh, miniatures here, which look nice. All right, so those are cool. Mace Master over here. All right, and clearly the uh, the guy offering us a choice of the grail. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure there's historical figures there. I was just making a little joke. Nobody get offended, please. Okay, so <clears throat> these wooden components are just fine here with those bases. It looks like we've got uh, a couple of stickers to put on um, on the bottom of our... Um, Guys, as usual, just like in the base game. So you have more of those. Then we've got these little wooden components, which again, like the base game, you have uh, the fish and the animal and the logs and such. So those are those. Now we have a stack of these cards right here. My guess is they will also match the size of some of the cards from the base game. Go ahead and take a look at these. Oh, 
Okay. And um, so there we have for the epic structure is information right there. And then we're going to have some of these big cards there for the peasant mutiny, I suppose. And then our a uh, couple of different, maybe these, because this looks familiar to me. So maybe these are um, re redos of the original game, but I can't remember. So sorry if I'm misleading you there. So here's some information on what the Siege Tower does. Oh, I got a little, my card got a little damaged there, unfortunately. That's okay. By the way, thickness there, uh, standard. They should be okay. A little thin, actually. I, I take that back. Um, and we do have a slight texture there. So I'm going to put mine in sleeves. But it looks like we have what all of those different things are. And it looks like they're sort of in order. Now, I could be wrong about that. My guess is, is they are probably in order as uh, the different types of expansions. Or maybe they're just in sorting order. And that's what you get. Which could be. All right, so that's our cards there for the big stuff. And then you have the little stuff here. And apparently that other deck that they gave as a reprint will more closely match the size of this. And I think that's a good thing. I'm glad they did that because they know they're going to get, you know, hassle if they didn't. So they might as well get it right, even if they can't do, you know, these the exact size as what they did for the base game. So we have um, the similar style and feel. Different things here. And it's been a little while since I played my base game. So I've kind of drawn a blank on a lot of this stuff, to be honest. But you get an idea of what, what we're looking at. All right. And I could see some things for 1 plus versus the 4 and stuff like that. So I'm going to scale with players there. And then some other maybe strategy cards or other things going on. So that's cool. So overall, I think the components have a great look to them. Um, I'm glad they did this. These are a little thin, and the cards could be a little thicker, but I, I find it's really hard these days for people to meet my expectations from a card standpoint. Then again, I'm a little bit persnickety, and I usually sleeve, so I found my own solution. All right, folks, that's about the size of it. I hope that whatever you play in the future, you have a great time doing it. Take it easy, everybody. See you later next time.